Hey Transformers fans, Adam here back with another Transformers review. And this is my first review of a Studio Series Transformer, Starscream. The Decepticon's second in command, always scheming to become the new leader, and for a brief moment in the 86 animated movie, he actually succeeded, hence him sitting on his throne here. But it didn't last too long after an encounter with Galvatron. But anyway, let's take a look at him, set the throne aside here. So the articulation, the movement, it is amazing compared to the G1 Transformers. Pretty much full range of motion in the legs and arms here. Let's go ahead and point those lasers so we can blast some Autobots or Megatron, depending on his mood of the moment. Got some good movement in the head here. Twist it around. Make him nod. And he comes with accessories from his coronation as the Decepticon's new leader, however brief that it might have been. So first up, some shoulder pads here. First, we'll take off the lasers. Next, got some notches here. So first, we'll bring them down. And he clips right into his shoulder here. And again, bring down the notch. And clip it right in. Next up, there's another little notch right here. Bring that down. And you can clip in another laser. Yeah. And next one. Bring down a notch, and laser goes in. Next up, turn them around. We'll lift the cone up here for just a sec so that we can clip in his cape. Just clips right into his back here. All right, cone back down. And finally, his crown. Even though Megatron never needed a crown, but Starscream's a little more fragile, I guess. And there he is, the Decepticon's new leader, very, very briefly. You can extend out the cape a little bit here. Let it wave in the wind. All right, let's go ahead and get it back to normal mode. So, all right, got him back in his normal mode here. So now we can go ahead and transform him. So first, we take off his lasers here. Set them to the side for now. Next step, move his arms out like that, and then his wrist. So this piece comes up like so, and then the arm just goes in like this. Click that into place, wrist goes back down, and his fist goes all the way up. Same with the other side here. So wrist piece up, arm in, wrist piece back, and fist back. Move those back down for now. Next step, the cone here. We bring that up all the way and over his head and click that into place. Next step, we open up the chest piece here. And move this back so that we can bring the cone up and swing it around and back up all the way and click it into place here. And then move in his arms. And close up the chest piece. Next up, his knees. We open these up like so. And then we can click his legs together here. Go ahead and lift up his belt so that the legs can come in. Like that. Go ahead and lift the knees back up. Belt back down, click these into place here. There we go. Next up his feet. Just go ahead and clip these together like so. And then this piece. Go ahead and move it up. And click that into place. And same with the other one. Up. And clicks into place here, 
Make sure the legs stay together. And then this piece comes down, same with the other one. And finally, the wings. Just go ahead and rotate them and click them into place. And same with the other one. And then finally, we reattach the lasers at the bottom of the wings. And there he is in full jet mode, ready to blast some Autobots from the air. And the detail, as you can see, it is amazing. And I love with the Studio Series, no stickers, it's all paint. A little awkward on your other side here. Got that weird hole you can stick your finger in. Small sacrifice. But anyway, let's go ahead and transform him back. So, take up the lasers again. Next step, the wings. Go ahead and rotate them back. Whoop. Make sure they stay on. You can detach them, but there's really no need to. Yep, stay on there. There we go. Next step, raise up the belt. Bring down the knees. And we can bring the legs back. Swing these pieces back around. Bring his feet out. Bring the knees back up. Make sure this little notch clicks into place here. All right. Bring your belt back down. Next, we open the chest plate again. Swing his arms back out. And the cone. Unclip from the back here. Swing it around. And close up the chest. Whoop. First, we dip that back down all the way. Then close up the chest. Bring that cone back. And then fully open his arms again. So fist out there. Wrist piece open. Extend his arm out. Close up the wrist piece and bring the fist down. Same with the other side. And finally, reattach his lasers. And there he is, back to robot mode. I'll tell you, the Studio Series, it is amazing. So much more articulate compared to the G1 versions. Can't wait to get my next ones. I got plenty more on the way. Don't worry, there'll be some in my next robot reviews. And that'll about wrap it up for this video. Join me again for the next one. Until then, take care, Transformers fans.